Is it like No. no. because I think she's only 15 and she can't afford to take care of a child. So Jasmine, what are your thoughts on you being pregnant and what your mom wants you to do? It happened. I want to keep it. I've always wanted to be a mother and that's why I have her. She can help me raise a child. And see, that's not going to happen. You don't even have a job. You don't go to school consistently. Her grades dropped drastically. You know, she got um, involved with some guy. I never even met this guy. And she's saying that she wants to keep the child. I asked her about this guy. He doesn't have a job. So who's going to raise this baby? So Jasmine, tell me, what, what plans do you have as far as supporting yourself and this baby? I'm going to raise it. I'm going to do everything that I can. School can wait. Are you planning on getting a job? No. When you say you're not going to My boyfriend school? has a job. And what does your boyfriend do? He's a carpenter. Mom, mom isn't aware of the boyfriend. So what's going on with this guy? Is he forcing you to keep the child? No, but if, there were times where I wanted to bring him over. You were just, you were always yelling, and screaming, saying he can't come over. So I had to sneak around. I love him. But Jasmine can't keep this child. She's under my roof. No. So have you thought well, I can about move, but I can move with him. Would you prefer so, that? Mom, how do you feel about her moving out? Well, she's not willing to sign a consent emancipating her. No, no, I'm not. So you won't. She's, on, she's only 15. <sighs> well, I'm keeping it. I don't believe in abortions. I'm not giving my baby up for adoption. She haven't even seek any prenatal care. She just think a child can come into this world. Just Do you know what resources are available for you? When your mom is saying you can't have the baby, so do you know the necessary Well, it's my decision. I'm the one carrying this baby. She's not. But you live with your mother. And that's going to impact her life, her financial situation as well. I don't know what to tell her. It's my baby. I have him. His family supports this. So is his so family I don't supporting? understand why I can't just live with him, Mom. Why? Because you're 15, Jasmine. You're only 15. You don't go to school. You don't have a job. So tell me, what's going on at home? Aside from the pregnancy, what's going on at home? Because it looks like you all have a break in communication. Instead of talking to her, you're talking at her and vice versa. So let's talk about the home setting. What's going on at home? Well, basically, um, I am a single parent. I had Jasmine when I was 16 years old. And so I you see a lot of yourself. I see there. a lot of myself. And I tried to help her, but it seemed like if dad isn't saying anything, or now this new guy isn't saying anything, but I'm she's not, not listening. I'm not hurt. So how does that make you feel, Jasmine? I don't know. I don't know. She needs to understand that even though I'm pregnant now, I don't have to end up the way she was when she had me. I have support. What my support father system? was never in my life. What support systems do you have? His family. What has if family? my mother can't support me, I'll just go to him. And what are they committing to do? Help me raise the child. They're it's opening hard. up their home to me. My so mom. I don't see what the issue is. My thing is, how long is that going to last? Other resources 
Are you familiar with Planned Parenthood? Did yeah. you have any, were you aware of the contraceptives that were there to prevent you from getting pregnant? Did you even talk to your mom about wanting to become sexually active? She's not the easiest person to talk to. Mom, you didn't feel it was necessary to have this conversation with Jasmine about preventative measures? Well, before I, you all ended up at this situation, in this situation? Well, I told her um, if she ever felt the need that she needed to talk about having any sexual relationship, that she should come to me. But obviously she don't feel comfortable enough talking to me. So my problem is if she didn't feel comfortable enough talking to me, who did she talk to? Friends. Friends. Who almost all her friends are pregnant or have kids. So, so do you think Jasmine is just following the crowd? trying to fit in with this particular group of friends, so she's gonna do what they do, <sighs> interact like they interact with their selective group of friends that she hang around with. With her, I can't even tell you, because one minute she's doing her own thing, the next minute it's this guy and her friends and her dad who was never there, and. I'm not the easiest person to get along with. And now she's 15 and expecting a child. So tell me, what do you want Jasmine to do with this baby? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I say she's not ready. Her responsibility... How can you tell me I'm not ready? I'm not you. I've always been around kids. I've always wanted kids. I'm going to be fine. You're not going to be fine. You have no means of support. You're 15. Just responsibilities. She can't remember to wash the dishes. So how is she going to remember to take care of a child? That's a whole nother life. Because this is something I've always wanted. So being that I want this child, I'm going to do everything that I can to raise my child. So are there any other things that you want out of life other than having a child? I want to be a mother. Besides wanting to be a mother? Mm, I haven't thought that part. Any other aspiration? I haven't thought that part. Maybe go to college. I don't. I don't know. See, it's nothing gets stripped to her. She just have this thing where, if Jasmine believes it, then it doesn't matter. No one else thinks. some resources, but I don't think you're going to be interested in the resources what that I have. have. Well, if you're going to keep this baby, opposed to what your mom is saying, I think you need to get some prenatal care so I can give you a list of free clinics that you can go to to receive prenatal vitamins and care. And if you're thinking along the lines of termination, I can also equip you with that list as well. Mm -hmm. Termination or adoption, I have a list of some agencies that will be able to help you and your mom. Why can't you just talk to her to persuade her that I can keep this child and we will be just fine? I don't think I can persuade your mom into letting you keep a baby because that's just not going to impact you. It's going to impact your whole household. So, so what's going to happen if you. I keep it? You're going to just disown me? I can't live there? You're not going to help me take care of your grandchild? See, I don't really know because she's going against my will. Now, I understand the pressure of being a teenage mother. And I did need support, and I did need help from my mom. And it was my decision to keep my child. So I do understand where she's coming from, but I know that Jasmine isn't responsible enough for a child. It seems like, like you just have no... You just doubt me. This may actually push me to want to be better because I actually have a child looking up to me. But you don't see that, so. So are you feeling a lack of love and attention Sometimes. from your mom? Sometimes. Mom, what are some things that you do to show Jasmine that you, you love her, you're concerned? 
Well, I always tell Jasmine that I love her. I provide for her. She have a roof over her head. She have clothes. She have food. I work to support her. And I don't see how Jasmine not working and this guy who just came into the picture. Like, he hadn't even been around for a month. And now she's willing to go move over there with his family? Because they're opening their home to me. What don't you understand about that? I would not let my 15-year-old go stay with a guy's family. Well, Jasmine, I don't think you're going to be moving in with your boyfriend's family. You're not old enough for one. Your mother has to find a say so in that regard. So my suggestion would be is instead of you all talking at each other, to talk to each other and to be open and honest about what it is you're feeling and what got you here aside from Jasmine's being pregnant. Because I'm sensing that Jasmine has some issues with her feelings about how do you feel about her. How do you feel about your mom, Jasmine? We've always had issues. Always. Um, I feel like there are times where she just doesn't have anything positive to say to me. It's she's just nagging all the time about something. Come on. Jasmine, she just, a lot of stuff she just doesn't see do right. Nothing positive. She just doesn't listen. She yeah. have bad anger problems. I don't know if that's from her dad's side, but there's no way to get to Jasmine. So it's a breakdown in communication. Right. Yes, so. Okay, well, thank you all for coming in. And on the next session, I have a little exercise I'd like you all to do. And when you have free time, each one of you compose a little list of things that you would like to see each other do differently when interacting with each other. You with your mom and you with Jasmine. And we'll put the two lists together to see what it is that you all have in common and we're going to go from there. Okay, thank you so much for seeing us today. Thanks. You're very welcome.